Have you ever needed to just get out of debt but you feel all over the place and don't know where to start? I am going to share with you two very, very effective techniques and actually share with you my favorite technique and we're gonna get right into it right now. So, the first technique is called the avalanche method. So, what we're talking here pretty much is, you know, I'm just gonna kinda keep it simple. So, credit cards, auto loans, student loans, things like that, okay? So what you wanna do in the avalanche technique is take all of your debts and go for, put, put them in order, from the highest interest rate down to the lowest interest rate, okay? And then what you do is you focus all your energies and all your extra money and all your overtime money and all your Uber money and everything else that you're making extra money at toward the debt with the highest interest rate, okay? And then pay the minimums on the rest. That's method number one. Method number two, which happens to be my favorite, is called the snowball technique, all right? And that is a similar, but a little bit different and a little bit more, I don't know what it is. It's more empowering, if you will, okay? And that is to take your debts so your credit cards, student loans, auto loans, things like that. Hey ma, how you doing? <laughs> and you put, you put your debts in order from lowest amount owed to highest amount owed. Forget about the interest rates, okay? And then what you do is you focus all your energies on the lowest debt that you have, all your extra money, everything goes to the lowest debt, and then you pay the minimums on the rest. And then that, in turn, once the first one's paid off, then that money goes to the second one and it snowballs, you get it, right? So here's the thing, the avalanche technically, in the long term, actually goes faster. However, not by much, but the motivation with the debt snowball, in my experience from my students, is so much greater doing the, uh, the debt snowball method, right? Because here's the thing, maybe you have some few little department store credit cards, you know, and they're like, I don't know, $100, $200, you know, they're small. Well, instead of paying an extra 20 bucks a month on every card, you could take all the extra money you're paying on all your little, all your cards, focus it on probably that $200 department store credit card and knock it out right now. You just paid off a credit card, right? Now, that feels good, it creates momentum, it cr creates energy, and then you, hey Tom, how you doing buddy? And then you go and attack the next highest one. And maybe that takes like six weeks. And then you attack the next one. And maybe that takes like two months. But you're rolling, right? You're rolling. You're paying off debts. And you make it fun. Make, make paying off debt, which is typically a kind of a negative experience, fun. Involve the whole family. Get the kids going, you know. Make a chart. You know, we're going to pay this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And just have at it. But either technique that you use as long as you're very focused on you know, going for the first one, to the second one, to the third one, to the, and paying the minimums on all the rest, you will pay off your debts so much quicker, okay? I mean, like, so much quicker. So instead of spreading a little extra money all over the place, focus it, concentrate it, all right? That's it, guys. Hope that you like this. If you know anyone that would benefit from this information, please share, tag, and if you'd like more tips like this, definitely uh, link into my Facebook group called Your Virtual Advisors. The link is actually in the, in the comments there. So have a great, great Friday and, and a great weekend, and we'll talk soon. Love you guys. Bye.